Hey folks, Mike McGee here. As you know, we had a brand new calf born. It was born on a Friday. It was, uh, today is a Monday, so we have a milk cow. If you're, if you're new to this, you're, you don't know exactly how to do what, when, and where. The first day the calf is born, you just milk enough out to give the calf some colostrum. The second day, you milk a little more out. Now I'm talking about milk cows. I'm not talking about beef cows. Milk a little more out, relieve that bag. That would have been Saturday. We would have done that. It's very cold. It's about 27 to 29 degrees and it's not going up in the day and not going down lower at night. But ice everywhere. The steers patiently waiting for their silage. You can tell we had an ice storm, but having plenty of grain, plenty of feed, really keeps them warm no matter what. You say, hey, why don't you have them a place to get in out of the rain and this ice? Well, they don't go in it. It don't, it don't matter. They won't go in it. They like it out there. In a world where every kind of shelter and possibility is covered, the cattle show us what freedom is. This is a half gallon bottle. We give the calf a full half gallon bottle in the morning, a full half gallon bottle at night, and a half half gallon bottle in the middle of the day. It needs it to stay warm. You don't want to give it a whole lot more than that or it can get scours, which is diarrhea. So anyway, the third day would be today, would be Monday. We milk it pretty close to empty. We don't completely strip her out. Tonight when he milks, he will strip her out and what that does is prevent mastitis, which is a bacteria in the, in the bag that can cause hardening and cause the milk production to completely cut off. I'm gonna show you when you first start milking a cow, you've got issues with the cow not really wanting to be milked. And this is her second calf, so she knows what it is to be milked. She was already broke to be milked, but she still doesn't really like this idea. She's been off work for two months and so it's time to get back to work. She don't want to stand there. So anyway, when you're doing it, be ready to catch that leg. They don't have a lot of power kicking forwards towards the bucket. Their, most of their power is to kick out the back. So you can stop it if you're quick enough with your arm. Joel is, he's well educated on this. He's been milking since he's seven years old. And now how old are you, how old are you, 15? 15. 15 years old, he's been milking longer than half of his life. So he knows what he's doing and he, he's ready to catch that leg when it comes forward. But that's just something you gotta be mentally prepared to do. If you're not, boom, down goes the pail of milk. So anyway, that's just a few tips. I'm gonna run the rest of this footage for you as a fun video to watch the milking and the bottle giving. You're standing in your plate. Why are you standing in your plate? Get out of there. Get out. There's a reason we don't put it on the ground. Gav said, I want more and I want it now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That calf thinks you're the mama. <laughs> Give me the bottle and we'll go ahead and get some more right quick. Have you done the front at all? No. Oh, Lord have mercy. I may have to go get you a different bucket.
have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.